Darren, a bitterly disappointing defeat here in Solly Hole. Looking at our game as a whole, it's sort of a game of two halves for us, really. Is there maybe a bit of disappointing that we didn't perform at the level that we did in the second half for the whole 90? Yeah, without a doubt. You know, it's the last two games we haven't started a game well enough. Um, obviously, Saturday we managed to turn it round or turn the performance round and, and turn a nil-nil into a victory. Um, and we haven't managed to do that today. We've given ourselves something to chase in the second half and, you know, we huffed and puffed and we had a few chances and, you know, still didn't work the keeper enough for me in the second half, albeit we were looking likely we were going to get back in the game. And, and I think on the second half, I wouldn't, I would have said getting a point would have been a fair result. Mm. But we got to look at what I've got to look at is why we've started the last two games as sort of pedestrian as we have you know there was certainly you know the, when you're playing against Barrow you know what they're going to do and you come into Solio on a Tuesday night you, you certainly know there's no surprises with how they were going to play um, and we looked a little bit shell-shocked by how the game played out in the first half which which surprises me because it's it's all we've spoke about the last couple of days in preparation for tonight and we, we had our chances to get back into the game I and mean, even maybe nickel three points just lack that clinical edge in front of goal which we haven't in recent weeks yeah and that, that disappoints doesn't it because we've we've had goals about us of late and we've looked a real threat and we did look a threat going forward in the second half there's been enough balls that have gone in there uh, into their box and in and around the final third but we just didn't have that ruthlessness about us tonight but like I say I'm 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 disappointed, obviously, the way we've conceded the goal. It was, it's a cheap penalty to give away. Um, but certainly, I'm, I've got to look into why we've started the last two games as slow as we have. Looking ahead now, with the likes of Ricardo Santos coming back into the fold, now you've got so much competition in there and you've gone for Sweeney in midfield today. Is that an option for you with all these players coming back? No, I mean, it's tonight you're looking at been looking at size and you know Ricardo's not ready for 90 minutes so he was he was ready for 30 minutes tonight you know so we've had to be careful getting him back in and around it but you know putting Sweeney in there tonight was just a size thing mm-hmm. because of obviously the, the team we're up against um, but no I want healthy competition obviously we'll have Maka back around us as, as well on Saturday which will give us some more physical presence up there um, but I want competition. I, I'm going to need them all. I'm going to need all of us together with this. I certainly, you know, even the two young boys that I've left out tonight, need everyone. Everyone's going to have to get some football because we've got a large amount of games coming up. So, you know, we have to we have to show our togetherness. We have to show to each other. And I've just told them in there, I don't want anyone coming in um, on Thursday with the Reds down. Let's make sure it's a blip and put it right on Saturday so I want a group of players that come in ready to work to put tonight behind them and, and, and go again on Saturday So it's a feeling we haven't known over the last few weeks it bringing that unbeaten run to an end just how important is it to bounce back almost immediately this Saturday in what's going to be a big game against Harrogate pushing into a really important part of the season Yeah it's massive isn't it you know every game's really important now um, I think that's 15 games we have left now so you know the the overall bigger picture and the target we've set ourselves hasn't changed. We know what we know roughly how many wins we need in the, in our last games, um, but it's a missed opportunity tonight to get at, at least a, another point on the on the board. But we go away with nothing, which is bitterly disappointing. But like I say, well, the performance is what I need to look into because we've started the last two, not how we're expected to. Unfortunately, we didn't get a number on the fans that came out tonight, but there was a healthy figure of Barnet fans here on a cold Tuesday night in Solihull. So it's massive for them to come up here and give their... Yeah, no, listen, I always appreciate them. You know, sometimes I stand here happy and we all clap each other because we've won. And sometimes I have to, I have to stand here and, and front it and and almost apologise because, you know, I, don't, I, I want everyone to enjoy coming to watch us. I want to enjoy playing good football and, and winning football matches and we haven't ticked enough boxes tonight but certainly them coming out in their numbers again is always appreciated by me so thank you.